hello and uh, welcome to Gloss Nappies Live for tonight. Um, it's Wednesday uh, again, so eight o'clock, time for our live video. Where are we now? Something like day 102 of lockdown. Um, so uh, we're really pleased to be able to keep in touch with everybody by video and we hope that you are still enjoying our little live segments. Um, Great to hear from you. Um, we've had lots of people commenting on our videos after the event. So if anybody's watching this back and they've got any questions, please do feel free to ask any questions um, in the comments because we keep an eye on it and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, tonight's topic is pre-loved nappies. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the re some of the reasons why you might buy secondhand nappies. Uh, and some of the benefits and where you can find them and what you can look for when you're um, looking out to buy them, questions you might like to ask and how to get them all sparkling clean ready for use when you have got your new nappies, your new pre-loved nappies. So the first question I suppose people will ask is why would you buy pre-loved nappies secondhand nappies when you can buy new nappies there's a few reasons um first of all you're going to save yourself some money so uh washable nappies can be expensive especially some of the premium brands and buying pre-loved is a good way to have a go with some expensive brands without committing um, quite so much outlay in the first place so you might think i'd like to try that really expensive nappy can't quite justify the cost of it new but you've noticed that someone on your local Facebook page is selling one half the price it would be retail and it's lightly used why not buy it and have a go with it and see what you think before you commit to buying any more so we send out a survey um, to ask parents mainly for their reasons for choosing washable nappies and the main thing that people always say is for environmental concerns so washable nappies are fantastic for the environment anyway but if you can use recycled ones pre-loved ones um secondhand ones then you are doing another service to the environment because you're not using new so we're all about um reducing waste and if we can save some nappies from going to landfill because nobody, no, somebody doesn't know what to do with them, um, then fantastic. Pass them on to someone else and off we go with another family. So washable nappies uh, can go through several children. They go through usually several children in the same family. And then when that family is finished with them, they can pass them on to somebody else. So you might be looking to buy pre-loved, you might be looking to, uh, you might be having some hand-me-downs from somebody else. A um, bit later on, I will talk about how to make sure that the nappies are all nice and sparkly and clean and ready to use, because that is quite often people's concern. They'll say, well, is it hygienic to use secondhand nappies? Um, you know, someone else's baby's been using them, but actually, yes, it is, because the person who's been using them um, obviously we go a lot on trust but the person who's been using them has been washing them and keeping them clean and using them on their child so when they come to you you can trust that they have been used um, properly and you're going to wash them and make sure that they're clean as well so there's nothing wrong with using washable nappies that have been through a different family before they come to your family just make sure they're nice and clean before you start and you're ready to go um, first thing is where might you find some pre-loved nappies uh, you can find them mainly probably at the moment online is probably your best bet so there are some uh, dedicated websites for buying and selling pre-loved nappies and i'll pop the links in the comments below if you want to have a look and see what you can find on there um, one of the places you can't buy washable nappies is ebay um, they come, used nappies come under their prohibited items because they count them as used underwear and that's not allowed to be sold on eBay. So you may find nappies that are for sale secondhand through eBay. Um, the problem is they will need to have been listed as being new. So if you should buy your nappies from eBay pre-loved, and they arrive and there's a problem with them, you have no comeback because eBay will say, well, we're, we don't accept 
secondhand um, nappies to be sold through our site. So uh, eBay is not the place to go for secondhand nappies, really, unless you're prepared to take that risk. You're probably likely to find um, a good selection on Facebook. You might find them on Facebook Marketplace. You might find them on dedicated cloth nappy user groups. And of course, we've got our local group, um, Gloss Nappies Natter, and we have parents buying and selling nappies on there. Um, it's OK to ask for uh, a nappy that somebody might happen to have at the back of their airing cupboard. You know, we quite often get people saying, I'm really looking to try uh, Top Spots Bamboozle. Does anyone have any? And then if their child happens to have grown out of them and they've got some lurking, then they may respond and sell them. So actually, um, you can put wanted adverts up and you can find adverts that people are um, selling their nappies through. There's a few things to look out for when you're buying pre-loved. Now, obviously, um, it's the old saying, buyer beware, and everything is sold as seen. So it's important to get lots of information before you buy your nappies. Um, you Usually, you'll have photographs. Um, you can ask people to send you more photographs and you can ask lots and lots of questions. I'm gonna do a crib sheet of questions and you'll be able to find that um, in our photos um, tomorrow on our uh, on the Facebook page so there'll be a list of questions on there you can ask uh, but mainly what you want to know is how well used the nappies are so if they've been through one child very lightly used they may be described as excellent used condition which might be EUC if you see that in a nappy advert it means excellent used condition um, these will be almost like new. I've got this one here. This one is excellent used condition. It's little bum genius. You may or may not be able to see on the video, but it's got fantastic looking Velcro here. It's all clean and it's all nice. The inside is nice and clean and it's got the original boosters with it. The thing to look out for um, when you're buying pocket nappies or wraps is to check that the waterproofing is all good. So it's okay to ask people to send you a picture of the inside. You want to make sure it's nice and smooth, no bubbles, and particularly where it will um, get the most wear is around the elastic. So you want to look and make sure that that waterproofing is all in good condition. So once you've asked about waterproofing, you might want to ask about the Velcro. If it's Velcro, make sure that it's nice and still sticky um all these things you can you can take a view on so if you are thinking to yourself actually i just really want to try that nappy and i don't really mind if it's a bit bobbly or it's just for nursery or whatever you're you're going to do with it so you might find that's reflected in the price so look at the velcro look at the elastics you want to make sure that the elastic is still stretchy and particularly around the legs you can replace elastics um, sometimes people sell them after they have been replaced. You want to ask whether they've got original elastics in as well. Um, and just to make sure that what you're buying is actually going to be a usable um, nappy once you get it. So this one, excellent used condition. Um, you might see nappies described as in good used condition. So this one, a um, little bit bobbly but still it's got no holes, it's got no stains, it's got all the poppers and they're all still working. Um, nothing's been broken on it and the elastic is nice and stretchy as well. A little bit bobbly on the fleece, but um, if this had been through a couple of children, it would still be in fantastic condition. So ask what you're getting. It's important to know what it is that you're buying and what's included. So our Gloss Nappies Natter page, we generally it's people who are local we set this up for gloucestershire residents so um, you might find that there's no postage included in the price they're asking because they're expecting you to come and collect it now obviously at the moment um, as we're still in lockdown you need to make sure that you're observing social distancing rules um, and guidelines but you might find that the, the seller is willing to post them out to you now if they're going to do that you'll want to be paying online so most sellers will sell by uh, and accept payment through paypal which is great because you have a comeback there if the nappies weren't to arrive in the post 
you could make a claim or if they weren't as described you can go through paypal to claim your money back so always use paypal if you can um, just for that extra peace of mind when you do that you want to make sure that you tick the box that says goods and services so the seller will actually have a small fee that they have to pay and you want to make sure that they're not expecting you to pay that fee on top of the price of the nappies. So just make sure you don't get caught out with that. Um, you want to know whether you've got wraps included. You want to know whether you've got liners and boosters included. Just make sure that you're, you're going to get what you're expecting um, when the nappies arrive, really. That's the main thing. Um, you want them to be in good quality, uh, in good condition and you want to be able to get up and go with them it's worth asking the seller whether they got on with them um, sometimes you can get some good, really good top tips from the person who's used them before uh, if they're going to be passing on their nappies hopefully they can pass on a bit of their knowledge as well um, it might be that the nappies are completely brand new and unused and unworn sometimes people will buy washable nappies and find that they're not reaching for them in their in their stash of nappies and then they'll think well you know i'm not using my tickle tots i'm just going to sell them all so you can actually get some really good bargains by looking for pre-loved nappies which is definitely um definitely a good thing so you can save your money and you're recycling the nappies um so once you've got your nappies home and you're thinking right um they've arrived in the post what do I do with them now? Unpack them, have a look at them, check they're as you expect. And then you want to make sure that they are super duper clean. Um, I think we will probably do a separate video all about stripping and sanitising nappies, but just I can just do a brief run through to explain how what the process is to make sure that you strip out anything that's left in the nappy in terms of detergent that the previous owner might have used. If they're using something different, to what you will use in your home you might find that it affects your baby's skin um, and you want to make sure that they're not going to be uncomfortable using um, their new nappies so you can do what's called a strip and sanitize if you look online um, youtube has got many many videos of how to do a strip and sanitize it doesn't have to be complicated um, it's just a simple step by step and you do it overnight um, you probably need to set aside a day to make sure you're at home to be able to do it because it involves popping the nappies in and out of a soak and washing them through twice so you need to make sure you've got time for that so the first thing that you want to do is soak them in a bath of water with some bicarbonate soda so if you're going to put a warm bath and it's a full i'm talking about an average sized bath You'll probably want three or four tablespoons of, of bicarbonate soda in and that will um, dilute into the water and you can just stir it in and you can pop your nappies in on top of that and you want to leave them there overnight. Give them a good stir every so often and then just leave them to soak. Um, one thing I will say is if you are leaving your bath full of water at home, you want to make sure that there is no way that your children can get into there un unsupervised. Um, there's obviously a health and safety risk um, if you're going to leave a big tub of water um, unattended. So just make sure that it's perfectly safe while your nappies are soaking. So leave them in overnight um, and then after that squeeze them out uh, and you want to put them through in the washing machine on a cold wash with no detergent and that will just strip everything out. Now the bath water might have looked a bit mucky when you get the nappies out, might be a bit grey um, it's taking out any detergent, anything, any residue that might be left in the nappies. It might not look any different at all, but it still will have broken down anything that's left in the fibres of the nappy. Pop it through on a cold wash with no detergent at all, um, and that should take out anything that's remaining. And the next thing to do is you're going to pop them back in the bath for another soak. So this one is with a really, really diluted bleach. So we are talking about 150 mils to a full bath of water. Um, this one you want it to be a cold bath and you want to put the nappies in for no more than about 30 minutes. Sometimes people are worried about what's going to happen to the lovely bright colours on the nappies. But really the bleach solution is so diluted that it shouldn't make a difference. Um, 
it shouldn't make a difference to the, fi the fabric fibres either because it's going to be in there for such a short period of time. Half an hour is all it needs um, and you just want to give it a stir and a prod every so often. Again, please make sure that there is no way that the children can get to the bath full of water while you're leaving your nappies to soak because um, you just want to make sure it's safe while you're doing that. So when they've, they've been in, they've had their half hour soak, take them out, squeeze them out and then pop them into the washing machine on a hot wash um, you can do an ordinary wash with an ordinary amount of detergent um, do it twice so run it through twice you don't have to dry it in between and then pop them on the line outside to dry if it rains even better so your neighbors might think you're a bit mad when you've got your lovely clean nappies and you're hanging them out um, in the rain but that's absolutely fine so the rain water is really soft um, especially compared to our hard water in Gloucestershire so it will do the final job and the final rinse of taking out anything that's left and you should be left with some lovely sparkly good as new nappies ready to go um, and it doesn't matter that they came from someone else um, they're just as clean as they would be if you'd had them from the start so hopefully that's a few top tips for using pre-loved nappies you're saving money you're doing some more recycling um, gives you a great opportunity to try fancy nappies that might be out of your price range originally um, and it's just a really nice community way of moving things around in a circle so uh, if you're going to buy your nappies pre-loved make sure you get a receipt from your seller if you're going to pay paypal you can use your paypal receipt and then you can claim your 30 pounds back from the council with our voucher scheme if you use your receipts so we have two, just to remind you, we have two ways that you can claim your voucher. You can buy one of our packs, discounted packs. We don't actually sell them. You get them through the um, manufacturer, but you'll need a voucher code from us and you can get £90 worth of nappies for £20, which is a pretty good deal. But you might think, actually, I want to try something different. You might do a bit of shopping around and you might find that for pre-loved, you can get everything you need for a bit less money. So if you buy £50 worth of nappies, whether they are new or whether they are pre-loved, whether they are from one place or whether they're from lots of places, and you spend £50, save your receipts, fill in the form and send it off to us, um, and you can claim your £30 back that way instead of through the, um, the discount packs. So either way, you can get your money from the council for your voucher, um, and you're doing extra for the environment by recycling the nappies. Any questions, please do pop them in the comments. Um, as I said, I'll put a couple of links for some uh, pre-loved nappy sites and um, hopefully you can find some great bargains. Do uh, follow our page if you want to keep up with our videos and if you're not already in the Gloss Nappies Natter group, come along and join us. You can find there are plenty of parents there who are using washable nappies and you can chat to them and you can ask questions and you can buy and sell locally as well. So it's got everything. See you soon. Bye.